vistas of supreme charm, cool green aisles in nature's own cathedral, royal palms, hundreds of them, in stately rows in one of the most remarkable jungle gardens in the world, McKee Jungle Gardens near Vero Beach, Florida. 80 acres of tropical profusion where one can see and marvel at strange and exotic plants from all the world. A man-made jungle where tourists can plumb the mysteries of the tropics in safety. In this botanical paradise, scarcely a stone's throw from the Dixie Highway, nature has outdone herself to duplicate the enchanting beauty of her hidden places. Begun several years ago as a hobby by Arthur G. McKee, a Cleveland industrialist on the right there, and Waldo E. Sexton, a citrus grower of Vero Beach, the gardens have become one of the nation's show places. This strange African tulip, or Uganda flame tree, with its lovely blossoms, is just one of 1,500 weird plants assembled here. And now the screw pine, unique in all nature for its peculiar twisting staircase design. The geometrical wonder of the plant world. It's enough to make you dizzy just to look at it. There's another queer tree, the Traveler's Palm from Madagascar. The leaves or fronds are so constructed that they catch rainwater and convey it by small troughs to tank-like storage compartments. Some of the trees can store 20 or 30 gallons. By gouging a hole in the tree, you can tap the water supply. In this way, many a thirsty traveler's life has been saved. There is no end to the beauties and wonders in this modern Garden of Eden. One of the most unusual specimens to be seen here is the sensitive plant, a native of Central and South America. A slight touch and it will fold its leaves as if offended. It acts as though it had a nervous system the same as animals and human beings. Another exotic plant is the pelican flower or Guatemalan flytrap. Its peculiar looking blossoms, which grow to immense size, have a huge bell-like mouth with a cave-like opening which emits a pungent odor that attracts flies. Once inside, the flies are trapped by a series of hair-like fibers and held prisoner until the flower's pollination is completed. Literally hundreds of flies are trapped by each of the pelican-shaped flowers. Many of them regain their freedom, but most of them succumb before the flower is ready to release them. What a wonderful plant that must be to have around the place during fly time. Each flower is a regular beehive of activity. And if you don't think the flowers are filled with flies, he'll show you. Give them half a chance and they'll escape all right. What did I tell you? Wonder if this flower can be trained to catch Japanese beetles. No jungle, even a man-made jungle, would be complete without monkeys and other animal life. This Canadian brown bear, who goes by the dignified name of Dr. Doolittle, may seem a bit out of place in a jungle, in the heart of Africa, as it were. But he has been in Florida since he was a mere cub, so he feels quite at home. Don't get excited. Dr. Doolittle and his keeper, Tor Ornberg, understand one another. We hope. These jungle denizens just couldn't resist the lure of civilization. They're African chimpanzees. Napoleon and Josephine, they're called. That's Napoleon there. Or maybe it's Josephine. Anyway, they're three years old and have pretty good table manners for their age. 
There are hundreds of monkeys in the McKee Jungle Gardens, spider monkeys and rhesus monkeys, as well as a number of other varieties, and a group of gibbon apes. But these are the only chimps. They have the run of the place, but they always show up at mealtime. Botanical experts say the McKee Jungle Gardens rank with the world's finest. You would have to travel 25,000 miles over the Earth's surface, it is said, to see in their native habitat all the strange plants and creatures found in these 80 acres of jungle growth. No wonder it's a mecca for visitors. There's a gibbon ape from the Malay Peninsula. There are a number of them here, one of the largest captive group of gibbons in America. They're highly intelligent, but they cannot be taught to perform tricks like the chimpanzees. Monkeys, monkeys everywhere in this jungle paradise. Big ones and yes, little ones hanging on for dear life, seeing the world from a monkey rumble seat, learning how to keep out of trouble and when to take to the tall timber. Old man Gator's not interested in monkey meat right now. His favorite dish is fish. But even so, Mama Monk believes in giving him plenty of room. <music> Feeding an alligator by hand doesn't appear to be the safest pastime in the world, if you ask me. You can trust an alligator so far and no further. I prefer them after they're made up into nice handbags and suitcases. These spider monkeys from South America live the life of Riley in this man-made Florida jungle. There's nothing for them to be afraid of, and as you can see, they're not even afraid of the cameraman. It's just as if they were in their native jungle, but without any of its dangers. They've grown accustomed to human beings, of course. Thousands of visitors come here every year. Hello, here's Mama and little Jocko again, joining the crowd to see what's going on. Did you ever see the way people on the street crowd around a movie camera? Well, monkeys may not be people, but they certainly have a lot of human traits. Spider monkeys are the friendliest of all simians. Friendly, did I say? The little beggars are downright familiar. On the other hand, Napoleon and Josephine have eyes only for each other in this man-made Garden of Eden. Ain't nature grand?